Mitochondrial dysfunction translates into insulin resistance. Insulin resistance translates into hyperinsulinemia. Hyperinsulinemia <clears throat> translates into chronic metabolic disease. So you can draw a direct line between the mitochondria and your health. Insulin resistance is the first sign of the problem. That's telling you that you've got a problem. You can see it in the plateau. Eventually, you'll see it in the fasting insulin. So without question, a continuous glucose monitor will pick up metabolic dysfunction before any of our other laboratory biomarkers do. One of the reasons for choosing and wearing a continuous glucose monitor is to look at that insulin plateau, because that is the first sign that your metabolism has a problem, that things are going south. Insulin drives defective cell uh, growth. Uh, it causes cells to grow when they shouldn't. Certainly, it, grow, it causes fat cells to grow. But it also causes vascular smooth muscle to grow. It causes glandular tissue to grow. It causes changes in the brain that prevent utilization of glucose because of insulin resistance, which ultimately lead to defective ATP generation. That's one of the reasons why Alzheimer's disease has been called diabetes type 3. But you know, we know that insulin resistance is a primary driver of defective CNS glucose utilization. So getting your insulin down is job one. It is the f most important thing to improve your metabolic health. And continuous glucose monitoring will pick up the first signs of that metabolic dysfunction before any of our other biomarkers can. So that's where the rubber hits the road.